Assalamu alaikum, Techutopia here, peace be upon you, like always. So, we're gonna do another full review, so please make sure to enjoy in this uh, full in depth review done by me, and of course, uh, buy uh, this uh, product from our site gearbox.com using my promo link, which is on this video. Anyway, enjoy the ninjas and see ya. Assalamu. Welcome back ninjas, ahlan wa sahlan, dobrodošli nazad, it's your tech ninja Muhammad. This is the small quick review for the Uphone Power 3S, revisited after 3 months, so basically after the hype. Reviewed even the bigger brother Power 3, but I don't know, it seems to me that this S version is better. I know, I know. It doesn't have 6 gigs of RAM, it's not high premium quality build as power, but it's not a huge difference, at least not 50, 60 dollars difference in the time I reviewed it. The good thing, price is lower for sure, you can get it for 170 dollars either on Banggood or Gearbest, this review unit which I have is from Gearbest. And again, this is probably the best competitor to Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus. It has great build, good SoC and amazing battery life. Nevertheless, I will share with you my own experience and advise you should you buy it or no. So let's begin in just with the reasons to buy it should be the price of course. It is an affordable smartphone, not expensive, it's not about 200, just less than 170. Android 7 almost pure stock experience, probably Android future update to, to 8 Oreo, but not 100% sure, so they take that with a pinch of salt ninjas. Decent SoC, Halo P23, octa-core SoC, with a Mali G71, 2-core GPU. For gaming it's good, but not better than Snapdragon 625 Xiaomi phone, since Halo P23 yet not optimized that good. Not fault of the SoC, more to the side of the game developers, because it seems as uh, uh, years are going ninjas 2018 2019 seems that these game developers are using mostly mainly qualcomm soc and obviously adreno gpus for their uh, demos for the developers and uh, developer test tests etc etc i think i just have a hint man i just have a hint uh, anyway 4 gigs of fan and 64 gigs of storage that's more than enough ninjas more than enough honestly you can open a few games you can open a few apps so it can handle a lot of apps there 4 gigs of ram is just more than enough in 2018 uh, 8 megapixel front camera is a pass pass for me you can get decent shots back camera comes with the samsung sensor yes we do have two but i only care for one that is usable and working and oh boy oh boy this phone has a better camera from its big daddy power 3 odd very odd, cheaper but better makes no sense for me ninjas. You can get good video samples, clean with decent details, even the night shots are somewhat, I would even maybe discuss that slightly in some uh, situations you can get better uh, details than from the Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus. Nevertheless, it's very odd, but I would just advise you to, to, to check my full camera view. Yes, I have full camera view for both of these smartphones, so check them out separately so you can judge by yourself which smartphone is better. So, of course, I put everything there for you and just on the plate so you can judge by yourself. You do have your own mind, you make, make your sense by yourself, Ninjas. I'm just here to provide you the samples. Uh, in the box you get three caves, just to mention that, uh, and also an adapter, dual 4G SIM acceptable, the smartphone, and of course I forgot to mention that it does support an SD card. And all important sensors include the gyroscope and compass, not to forget to mention uh, OTG and OTA features, and split screen features just working perfectly. I mean with the 6 inches there, this is just an amazing smartphone to use, a split screen feature, it can handle a lot of juice there, a lot of battery life, so you can just watch, work, etc, etc. Ok Ninjas, it's time for the sound speakers, Yolophone Power 3S. Uh, one thing is very strange for me, I can't describe this thing, but some videos uh, uh, you get low sound loudness, but with some of them you get a nice decent loudness there, so I don't get it. Check this out. And I love my speakers with extra bass. And this robot cleaner doesn't leave a trace. I mean, this is okay. This is seriously okay. When I was unboxing, I had a different audio file or whatever, and it was really low, but I'm satisfied. But let's go with the actual audio file, which I want to test. Mm, 
Not bad, man. I'm very surprised. I don't know what happened while I was unboxing this smartphone. Maybe I was testing a really bad... Uh, I don't know, maybe it wasn't, maybe it was up to YouTube or something like that, but suddenly I have slightly better loudness and the quality. I just, I can't understand this thing. So this is passable for me. This is passable. I was a little bit disappointed while unboxing, but later on, after one day of use, around right now, sound speaker doesn't sound that uh, bad at all. Anyway, let's go with more audio tests. Okay, show me ear, uh, earphones, basically. So not bad, the quality and the loudness from 1 to 10 for the price, I would give it 6.5 Ninja, 6.5, not bad, let's go with more ones. And yes, FM radio works fine, so you can see by yourself. Okay Ninja, so the microphone test, of course, let's go. 1, 2, 1, 2, this is the microphone test, Ulefone Power 3S, my mouth is uh, like 40 centimeters away. One, two, one, two. Right now, my mouth is just two centimeters away from the microphone. Let's go. Damn, man, so this is not bad at all. I mean, it's not Xiaomi level there, but next to other Chinese brands there, and uh, not so many noise in the back. This is very impressive from the Yulophone. Satisfied with the microphone so far. Dude, woohoo. Surprise, surprise. So let's test the Google Voice search. Okay, Google. Open YouTube. Damn, that was quick. Sweet. And that's from, uh, from the unlocking window there. Remember, Ninjas? I mean, from the unlocking uh, side there. Damn, not bad. Okay, Ninja, so let's test here the face unlock feature or face ID of the uh, Ulefon Power 3S. Let's begin. Okay. takes one second, around one second. So basically it's okay, so no falls at, at all right now, directly with a good light. Remember with the low light, you're gonna have really bad uh, results, unless you're gonna, just a minute. Yeah, so yeah, I tested it in the dark room, Ninjas, just using maybe the display brightness to unlock it with the kind of light uh, conditions there. No, no chance. So unfortunately, only so far that I saw that OnePlus 5T has that feature that with the light, if you are somewhere in the outdoors and only the light from the display of your smartphone will be there, that it's uh, it's sufficient, man. It's enough. But with this smartphone, no, it's not. You need more light, Ninjas. And the next thing, stay tuned. So next thing is, yes, the trend here that this smartphone doesn't have the real face ID, at least the software itself. Or I don't know, maybe even the sensor here, basically the, yeah, probably just the software itself. It, it's not that as advanced as with the OnePlus 5T or some Xiaomi smartphones. So I have a picture of myself here and the same thing, THL 92, which is similar price at there around $160, has a Face ID feature there, but it's trickable, Ninjas. Check this out. Check this out now. Boom. Did you saw it? Boom. Let me turn like that. Boom! It's my face, man, Ninja. So anybody with my picture or with your picture can unlock this smartphone if you're gonna uh, rely yourself on Face ID. Don't rely it if it's gonna be just, uh, uh, obviously, uh, for a fun there or maybe if you don't care for security, if you don't you want to use the fingerprint scanner with the Face ID there, I still prefer the, fa the fingerprint scanner, remember that. It's more reliable, more secure, always, always. And then, uh, just a small, again, uh, this is not a, just a rant against the Yulephone. You're going to see a lot of smartphones coming this year with this uh, fake optimization, fake software, face uh, ID uh, advertisement there. And I'm going to make a special video regarding that. Probably I'm going to make a special video regarding that. So we're going to have three different trends, which I'm going to talk in one single video. Nevertheless, uh, really good, great smartphone. Remember that. I love it and I completely uh, recommended it. Just I wish they don't advertise it as a real face ID. All these Chinese brands, which are under, I, I don't know, under $200 or so. Except Xiaomi, maybe Xiaomi will have a real face ID with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. But we will see.
kick him in the nuts! <laughs> Psycho. Can you just I think you get the point here? This is what you get. I think that this uh, English version right now it's not that optimized because I'm using low settings and still have these kind of freeze minor minor quick freeze box there. Freezes. I think you can notice that. Basically, it just lags when I turn suddenly like this. Hope you can notice that in this video. So Ninja, subscribe, share and like and use my promo links below to purchase the Eulaphone Power 3S for $170. This is a nice decent smartphone. I have to admit that one. Oh, oh. Sorry bro, damn man. The idiot, he had, a, he had just a pest. no, he had a Uzi or whatever. That's good, that's good. At least one kill there. Let me just check what did he had. Yeah, AK-47 and he has... What What the hell is that? A Uzi? No, I don't think so. We'll take it, we'll take it. Thanks. Let's go to the AK-47. Let's just check it out. So these are the pros and reasons to get it. But let's talk about the reasons not to buy it. Maybe some cons. <laughs> Not so many, honestly, ninjas. I basically I didn't uh, I didn't get used to this ninjas. Usually with these uh, Elephone, Ulephone, Octel, Blue Bar, I always find uh, like at least like five, seven, eight uh, cons. But with this one, hardly, hardly. This is a good thing, obviously. But few to mention, no single headphone jack, this probably a lot of people don't like that. For me that's not a con, but for some people it will be a big one, so you will need to use an, an adapter. Camera needs optimization for exposure and direct sunlight, but plenty of the smartphones have this issue, so at least I hope they're gonna uh, release an OTA. And yes, just a week ago they did release an OTA and camera even get better in just Seriously, also for the camera optimization. A wake up time for the fingerprint scanner is average speed. They should improve it a bit just a bit more and that's it so yes obviously Xiaomi will win here in this uh, fingerprint scanner lock speed is just way way better than just the software the MIUI for the fingerprint scanner wake up time just a different level uh, I suspect that this phone ain't having Gorilla Glass 4 in just some resistant screen is there resistant basically but Gorilla Glass 4 hardly believe that it is very cheap and also I checked the corning uh, corning uh, Gorilla side there I can't find any in for anybody else anybody else anyone else if you did find it please make sure to share it with me so there you go ninjas here we have it this might be and in my experience this is the best Ulephone smartphone so far that I reviewed uh, it is that kind of uh, I would call it like that bricky uh, power bank smartphone so it's not kind of a slim poshy smartphone but at least it is uh, solid and stable. Honestly, this is not a bad phone at all. Conclusion, it's simple and easy. If you don't want to go with the Xiaomi and the MIUI operating system, because a lot of people don't like the MIUI, uh, this is the best choice. Solid and stable phone without lags and major bugs so far received already two OTAs since I uh, got this smartphone in just. So I just hope they release Android 8 and this phone will work as a charm. Probably ninjas. I will leave you my suggestions, the list for the best budget phones under $200 in the description. So links will be below. Thank you so much and support my work by buying for, uh, phones, tablets, gadgets, etc, etc. With my links always, you can find them in the description, you can find them on the Facebook, Instagram, and you can find them on my front YouTube channel. So always visit my YouTube channel when you want to buy something online. Thank you in advance. Thank you in advance ninjas. Uh, stay cool, be good to your parents, your wife, husband, your kids, and On hope you're gonna be good. Board.
I hope you can see that on the camera and just so the focus is fast at least it's out of focus there it's enabled with the stock camera so don't worry about it uh, if we know in the past one year uh, earlier some Yumi DG UFO Nokia smartphones had uh, not enabled out of focus that was really bad with the stock camera app basically you always uh, you